Today we take a look at the Ayrshire cow, a unique breed of dairy cow, heralded as the producer of the highest quality dairy on the market. Learn about its history, care needs, and why this is such a special cow breed. The Ayrshire cow was named after the county of Ayr in the Scottish hills, where it was originally bred. Most likely, the hardy milking cow was bred by combining various Channel Island breeds with other cattle that were native to Scotland. Scottish breeds were known to be bad for milking, but they were very well acclimated to harsh conditions, and they had adapted to finding forage in even the most unforgiving landscapes. This mix of native breeds with other cows that leaned more toward dairy production made for an animal that was on the smaller side of a medium breed. It was hardy and stout enough to brave the harsh Scottish climate. But it was even more productive than its cousins to the east, who were supposed to be at the top of the dairy producing game. Ayrshire's were such prolific milking cows that they were quickly outstripping the other European breeds. Throughout their journey to becoming a refined breed in their own right, they were known by the names like Cunningham and Dunlop cattle. But by the 1700s, the name Ayrshire was the most commonly used term for them. And in 1786, the Ayrshire cow was officially debuted, named and recorded on the roster as its very own breed. It wasn't until the early 1800s before they finally made it across the seas to the United States, where they absolutely flourished. The northern parts of the US in particular had very similar conditions to their origin nation, Scotland. Ayrshire's did slowly make their way to other colder parts of the world, like Russia and Northern Europe, because they were so naturally inclined toward damp conditions. But it turns out that the Ayrshire wasn't just a cold climate cow, they were just as content in African and South American climates. No matter what extremes this breed is faced with, from brutal Russian winters to the dry and unforgiving heat of the African desert, Ayrshire's can always be counted on to thrive where they are placed. Originally, Ayrshire's were black and white, but the last few hundred years of selectively breeding them has resulted in their signature reddish brown and white coats. Fluctuations in the prominence of these two colors can vary, but some of that red-brown will always come through in the purebred cows. They are a medium-sized breed with sloped heads. Most Ayrshire's are dehorned as calves, but if left, they only reach about a foot in length. Bulls sport upward-facing horns, and cows have shorter, forward-facing horns. Being in the mid-range, you can expect them to weigh in at around 1,200 pounds on average. Their reasonably relaxed nature and compact size make them on the easier side to manage. Ayrshire's are the perfect cattle to start off with for those who are new to keeping cows. But if you are thinking of getting one, you might want to think of getting two instead. Ayrshire's are very sociable and they prefer to have a friend or two around. That's not to say they can't be alone, you'll just have to handle them more and be willing to offer them some companionship or arrange for them to run with other livestock that are well suited to live alongside cows. They can become willful and even a little aggressive if they are under stress or their living spaces aren't big or clean enough. As far as health goes, Ayrshire's were bred to be hardy. You won't find the usual hoof and leg problems associated with larger cattle in them. They can live to around 20 years and produce high quality dairy for longer than other milking cows. Unlike other breeds that start to decline in health after their prime years are over, Ayrshire's don't become decrepit and sickly in their old age. The only real danger to look out for is to keep up with a regular milking schedule. If they aren't milked enough, they can easily succumb to milk fever and mastitis, and they can even develop cysts in their udders and reproductive organs in their later years if they aren't adequately milked. And speaking of milk, you can count on big numbers when it comes to production. On the high end, an Ayrshire cow can produce 20,000 pounds of milk throughout her lifespan, and she'll be in milk for more than 300 days of the year. Ayrshire's currently rank fourth on the scale of biggest milk producers in the world. The high protein and fat content of their milk makes it the perfect dairy to work with when making yogurt, cheese, and ice cream. A study done in South Africa proved that more than 70% of the time, the public preferred the Ayrshire milk above every other breed's milk. It's got all of the flavor, nutrition, and versatility you need in your milk. Calves are quick and no-nonsense to rear, and their live birth rates are among the highest in the species. Their foraging capabilities are just as valuable as their high production. Ayrshire's just know how and where 
to find their food, they can locate sustenance in even the most barren landscapes. If you can supply them with ample pastures, there won't be much need for added feed. They can take care of themselves just fine if they have the space to seek out their own food. The reduction in feed and medical costs alone can make them worth your while. There's nothing wrong with their beef either. It's slightly more on the lean side since most of their energy is used to produce their high-grade milk. You'll still get a perfectly good, above-average cut from them. But given that they have such longevity and quality as a milking cow, they're usually just slaughtered to lessen the amount of bulls that are run alongside the cows. Ayrshire's really are the perfect cows to keep on small holdings and smaller farmlands. They just don't have all of the medical problems that come with other big producing breeds. Their size and adaptability make them ideal for the novice and for a smaller budget. If you are ever hesitant about keeping up with the responsibilities of keeping livestock, rest assured that the Ayrshire are here to make the transition to a livestock owner as easy as you could possibly hope for. The only thing you'll have to worry about is what to do with all of the milk you'll be getting. So what do you think? Are you ready to expand your farm animals to cows? And will the Ayrshire be the breed that gets you to cross the threshold? Let us know in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on the fascinating animals that might just find a home on your property. Until next time, keep learning and loving the land.